Hi, I am Dr. Shanmugasundaram, Senior Consultant Orthopedic Surgeon, Apollo Spectro Hospital, Chennai. Why do we get a joint pain at the age group of 40 to 50 years, especially in a female? That is the commonest symptoms what we come across in our orthopedic practice. This is the age group, there are two things which is happening in uh, especially women. One is the change of coming into 40 mentally make them bad. Second is the hormonal changes which occurs in the body which lead into so many other things which is happening in the body and reflected as the body pain. What is the difference or what is the correlation between the age and the body pain? If you ask me, go back to the physiology. The normal hormone which is responsible for your periods, the estrogen, progesterone, they have the other work of keeping the calcium inside the bone also. When the perimenopausal age group comes or they get an early menopause, the hormonal level goes down near zero level. That particular time, bone start losing its calcium in a normal way. And the excessive calcium which is there in the blood, it goes to the urine and without your knowledge, we lose more than 40 to 50 percent of the calcium sometimes in this kind of phenomena. This is called the postmenopausal osteopenia. What do you mean by osteopenia? In a normal situation, our bone density is around plus 2.5 to minus 1. When it's you are in that position, you are absolutely having a normal index. And it go below minus 1 to minus 2.5, your bone strength is reduced by two times. That is your osteopenia. That's the time that the generalized body pain comes. If you have a body pain or if you experience a body pain without any reason and you are in that particular age group, please check your bone density. That is the foremost cause for getting a body pain. Once you are detected with the osteopenia or anything below minus 2.5, what we call it as osteoporosis, it's the first and foremost thing is like you have to take care of your bone. How to take care of your bone? Natural method and tablets and the next level. What is a natural method? If you take care of your food in a proper way, then you can prevent this in the normal particular way. What are the natural food which can help in rich in calcium and vitamin D3? All the milk and milk products and a custard apple, all kind of spinach and ragi, bajra, egg, fish, mutton, they all have a lot of vitamin D3 and calcium. If you take that one in a proper quantity in a day basis, you prevent osteoporosis. Second, if you do a 30 minutes good sunlight exposure of your body, if you are old enough or good enough, please walk and run in the sun between 7 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Maybe ideal time is around 11 to 3, but if you do anything between 7 to 5, that is more than sufficient. If an elderly individual, when they are not able to make it out, then please at least go and sit in the sun with a normal dress for a half an hour to 45 minutes. That will give you enough amount of exposure. It produces your vitamin D3 and retain your calcium level in your body. Artificially or the medical wise, what we can do? There are many types of calciums available and the calcium citrate format absorbs better than the calcium carbonate format talk to your doctor and get the best possible calcium and vitamin D3 and then according to the osteopenic index you can get the other type of treatment. It's easy to manage when you take care of yourself in 40s, 50s. Thank you.